What's up, everyone? Welcome to Rotor Right. I'm Let's Fly RC. And I'm Bubby FPV. And we came to this awesome bando because of all of these little tiny gaps. We came here because we want to try to hit these little gaps with an X8. Now you're thinking, X8, that's eight motors, right? And the last time we had an eight motor drone, it had seven inch props. But I built something new, something really small that has an X8 form factor. This is going to be an awesome new inspection drone that we're going to be able to use to inspect really small spaces where humans shouldn't be going. So we're hoping at this bando we're going to be able to test out this thing and get in all the small gaps. So we recently did an episode with Skyper Sonic. It was really cool. I recently got an opportunity to go up to Detroit and fly with those guys and test out their inspection drone. The Skyper Sonic drone has a plastic bubble around it as protection to allow it to bump into objects, not damage the props or any of the internal workings or moving parts of the drone. We were able to use this drone to do really cool things and really cool inspections in areas where humans can't necessarily go. While I was there, there was a couple of really small objects we were trying to get the drone through, and because it was so large and almost exactly the same size as the tube or tunnel we we're trying to go through, it got sucked against the sides a lot. And so while I was there, I was thinking, what if I can make this even smaller? So what about doing a smaller drone? Well, lately we've been messing around a lot with this new baby shark that we make. It's, it's a micro-sized, two-inch prop drone, but yay big, and it carries the shark bite HD system, which is great because you get HD video in the goggles, but it's very lightweight. This thing rips. In fact, we took it to this exact spot, tore it up doing some freestyle. Bubby just went bananas. It was awesome. And it definitely has some bumpability because it's got the prop guard, so you can knock off things a little bit, but not so much as like something that's fully caged, right? It's because it's got that flat profile. So that's the challenge that Sean took on. Could we build a micro-sized drone that had the capabilities of a fully caged drone. Why are there two battery connectors on this drone? So I wasn't sure how much power this thing was gonna need. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if one battery was gonna be sufficient. I wasn't sure if I put a battery on the top, if it was gonna throw off the weight. The whole idea of this design was to get the most stability possible. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and put batteries on top and bottom just in case I wanted to put a battery on the top and on the bottom just in case I needed the extra power of a second battery to either way it'll be fine. Okay so it's just more just yeah. for stability. For stability mainly yeah. I had an awesome time flying the baby shark freestyling it around this area um, but there was this one thing that Paul was trying to do and I tried to do it and I kind of struggled with. It was this pipe right here and it, it's really small eight inches or something like that and we it's we could fly through there but we were kind of bumping around and we'd get tossed over and, it, and we'd get stuck to the side of the wall so I think Sean's little x8 thingy with the cage around it would be really useful for something like this so for this drone I'm gonna be want to be using angle mode because it's an inspection drone well I mean if you if you're gonna try to go into some like really tight areas angle mode will help a little bit it'll keep your focus on flying rather than trying to keep everything centered. So not only that, if, if you're in angle mode, there's an angle limit, so it's gonna stop you from overcorrecting if you do bump into something. Gotcha. Whoa, it sounds there. crazy. Watch out for the roof, Bubby. I, I, I can see the roof. <laughs> It feels faster than the Baby Shark, is that just me? Well, I would hope it'd be fast. It's got twice as much motors, twice as many props. <laughs> I feel like Van over. Wow. Whee! <laughs> I'm gonna put it in angle mode and see what I can get into. Let's see. Angle mode. Angle mode. Oh my gosh, I haven't flown in angle mode in forever. Yeah. This is weird. So in angle mode, I have to hold the pitch stick forward to move forward, correct? Yeah. Ah, angle mode. Oh, he's going up in the rafters! Hey, oh, up in the rafters. Oh, the rafters! oh my oh, gosh! Oh, is this like, can I bounce off stuff? Yeah, uh, just bounce off stuff. Okay. Yeah, uh, wait, yeah, okay. I didn't, don't do it on purpose. Oh! Well, maybe that's do it on so purpose. cool! Dude, <laughs> I can just crash it all I want now. Like, you can just crash as much as you want, as hard as you want. As yeah. much as you want. Whee! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are you breaking my stuff? You guys always have to break my stuff. Oh my gosh. Why are you telling me to do this? <laughs> okay, wait, don't break it before not, we put it. Right. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go inspect some rooms. Are you just gonna go inspect? Yeah, this is cool. Go I'm gonna room. go inspect some stuff. Go up top. Go into the rafters and stuff. I wanna. Oh, I can inspect because it's so yeah, small. I can get up go. here. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're up there. Oh, let's see. Don't ah, get stuck right angle, away. Am I in angle mode? Oh, okay. Yeah, slow down. Slow down. Relax. Don't overcorrect. You're okay. You got this. You gotta learn how to move your fingers slowly. That's what they taught me in Skype or something. They taught me how to 
fly the drone slowly. I mean, I'm bouncing. We know how to fly I don't, fast. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to fly. Oh my gosh. I can bounce oh off stuff. <laughs> Do we have the stick? I hope we brought the stick. It's He's gonna, gonna get stuck. All right, this is an inspection drone, not a freestyle drone. Gotta okay, go slow. Show me the bolt. I want to see the bolt. Where? Which find bolt? find a bolt. I want to inspect a bolt. Uh, a there's a bolt. There's a bolt to the right. I want to see the bolt. Let's see. I want to see it really close in HD. Look, you can see that it has a flat head on it. Oh, right, I know what tool. Head. I know what tool to go grab out of my toolbox now. It's a flat head screw. Okay, we're good. You, you got we the, did the inspection. Do, do we have Very a, good. We have a stick, right? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You made me laugh and I was like, ah! You made it though. I made it though. That was cool. What's your battery at? Are you sure? Oh, the, the battery we're saying. We're at 9.49. That's not good for a 3S. What, what do you land at for 3S? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that. So I started thinking about the Baby Shark and how I could make it better. I, I designed the Baby Shark a while back uh, to be a lightweight freestyle drone that could carry the Shark Bite digital HD system so that we could fly tiny whips around our house in HD. And that was the coolest thing ever. So I tried to figure out how I could put a bubble around Baby Shark. And every time I tried to add something to it, it just kept gaining weight and I didn't want to make it unstable. So I figured if I'm going to stick a bubble around this thing, I need to have a little bit more power, but I don't really want to increase the size too much. So rather than having to come up with a complete new design and add a bubble, I actually took two Beta 85X frames and stacked them on top of each other upside down and created a Baby Shark X8. And this thing's really awesome. It still carries the Shark Bite Digital HD system. Ended up having to use a 30 by 30 flight control board in the middle here rather than a 20 by 20 because it's the only board that I could find that had eight motor outputs. Uh, how about we let Sean fly it first oh before you, Drew? Yeah, I want to, can I fly it before you break it, please? I'm not going to break it. I will not break it. You promise you're not going to break it? I promise I'm not going to break it. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Did you roll it yet, Bubby? I did, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Did we power loop anything yet? I didn't want to break it, so I didn't. Okay, our power loop is bent right by us. Oh, my gosh. Here you go. Point it right here. Watch out, Sean. Watch out. Watch out, Sean. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me try it again. Wait, no. Wait, no. Why is it so close to us? Throw a different one. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. That wasn't clean, do it again. It was not clean, but let me, let me, You gonna parlor it with me standing on top? <laughs> you get some inspection, yeah. <laughs> so are you an acro or men? Well, I'm in an acro right yeah, now. Acro? I should be in angle. Angle. You need to put you an angle? Put me in angle, Sean. Dude, you're like, right. Here we right. go, one, two, three. Oh my god. Okay, angle. now I'm in angle. You're above that fiberglass stuff, dude. If you drop in there, we're dead. Okay. Okay. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. I just feel like I can go anywhere. I haven't really bounced off anything yet, though. <laughs> it's just so small. Oh wow, okay. We're bouncing, we're bouncing, we're bouncing. We made it, we made it. <laughs> angle mode. See, the angle mode really works for that. Mm -hmm. If I was an acro, I think I would have flipped. I mean, maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, that, oh, this is awesome. Look, I'm gonna go through the little one. Did you go through the little one? I didn't, no, you didn't. Go through the little one. Oh. Come on. Angle is so weird, though. Oh! You just bounce right off of it, though. I'm just gonna power through. Power through, power through. Oh. Hey, it works! It works! It works! Ah, that's cool. How's your video? Oh. <laughs> the video's good for me. Nice. How's your video? It's like pretty static. I got like a, a couple stat. I just got like some snow, but. Yeah, some snow. Look at all this. This is crazy. Sean, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm having so much fun right now just flying through all this little stuff. Oh, this is awesome. Turn to your left I'm just, just gonna a little drop. Bit. Oh. Give me okay. Wow, this is awesome. There you go, perfect. This is so cool. Do you think I could fly through this thing? Try it, do it. Do you do think it. I should? Yes, yes, oh go, 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 go. Oh. You got this. Wait, let's I try. I got the ladder, we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Do it, go. Oh, oh fly better. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Oh. oh, I disarmed. I didn't mean to. Oh, oh! <laughs> Breaking stuff already, huh? Uh oh. Oh my gosh. She's not. Uh -oh. oh, wait, that's turtle mode. We're good. We're alive. We're yeah. alive and back in acro mode. Okay, maybe not that one. Where was the one that you were trying, which the is the normal baby shark? It's over by us. Yeah, that's right there. Right there. Okay, right there, so right this one's less risk. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. wait, too well, fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. So now you're, you're gonna do an angle, right? Yeah, I'm in angle right now. Which angle, man, when you're used to flying acro, angle is just so counterintuitive. It's like difficult. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. Oh, you're so, you, you, Stuck you still got stuck. I didn't think you could. Man, it still gets stuck. It's just chilling you up there. Still get it. It. Hold on. Dude, is this air mode again? 
Yes. We gotta get. To, all right, you're not allowed to use air mode anymore. Wait, why unless air it's mode? on a switch. What is air, air mode? Air mode spikes up the eye term, so yeah. it's it's making this way we can worse. Put air mode on a switch. We gotta turn air mode so off because yeah. what's happening is air mode boosts your eye term at low throttle. So it's it's I'm hitting something and it's feeling that I'm hitting something, and eye term deals with external forces like wind or knocks and stuff like that. And even though I'm going to zero throttle, the eye term is just going crazy. Yeah, correct, 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 and it's like. It's getting stuck, so we need to turn off air mode so that if you bump something and you are at low throttle, you won't have eye term just go nuts. So let's let's see if that helps. Okay. I'm up. He's up. We're in acro mode. Okay. Nice flip. I'm in angle mode now. All right. Oh, I'm scared. Oh! What'd you? This is hard. Oh my goodness! I almost went like a crosshair. Okay, I'm in there. I'm in there. Oh, it works. It works. I was able to just bounce my way through. That nice. was perfect. Hey, all the way through. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna come back through. It's great. It just bounce. It just bounces right around. Let's go. It just bounces right around, no problem. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. That is, that's really cool. It just bounced right off. No problem. And now, like, I have so much more confidence in these rafters now. I'm like, if I can fit through, I mean, I did fly the cinema through the rafters, no problem, but still, like, okay, I'm going over. So when I was up in the rafters in my cinema, this is the area that I avoided because it got extra congested and there's stuff hanging. Now with this smaller drone, I feel like I can just be right up in here. This is so cool. This is so cool. This, oh my gosh, what? And look, I just bounce off stuff, no problem. No problem. If I could fit between, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can tell you exactly what type of screw this is. Look at that bolt. That's a great bolt. Hey crew, crew that bolt. That bolt is looking really rusty. I think we should replace it. There's a wasp nest above you. Oh, not where? Inspect the wasp nest now. There's no wasp there. Oh, look at that. There's a wasp nest here. Oh, I'm, this is freaking me out because I'm allergic to insects. And I know I'm safe on the ground, but still it's like giving me anxiety. Oh God, I, I need to get away. It's freaking me out. I gotta get away from this. That's so cool. That is so cool. Acro mode. Woo! And then she rips. Woo! Okay. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Catch me, Sean. Catch me. Three, two, one, disarm. Yes! That's so cool. That is so cool. I think that this project was definitely a huge success. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, sure. this, we could do all kinds of cool stuff with this. All right, this drone was awesome. We were flying it, inspecting things in like the tiniest gaps ever. I can't believe we made it through that little tiny tube over there. I mean, Drew flew it through there like it was no big deal. I was expecting us to totally get stuck in there. So this is really more of a proof of concept. I don't think we'll be selling this in store. We do sell all the parts in the store if you want to build one of these yourself. And I will provide the STL files online of all these 3D printed parts in case you want to build it yourself. But this is really more of a proof of concept. I think it's a very viable concept. If you enjoyed this episode of Rotorite, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you are not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell. We'll see you guys next time on Rotorite.